Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Skies are starting to clear out here in Central Texas, and that's setting the stage for a very cold overnight low here in our area by tomorrow morning. But wasn't it windy today with that little rain in the morning, the clouds, and those winds have been about 20 to 30 miles per hour today out of the north. The good news is you're going to start to calm down later on tonight as high pressure builds in. But the radar, quiet conditions here. We are talking dry weather tonight. A few sprinkles earlier this afternoon down toward College Station, but most of that has moved away. There's the bigger picture. Again, there's the leftover rain moving through the woodlands just north right now of the Houston area, kind of tailing over toward New Orleans, but that's about it. It's all staying away from us at this time. And our satellite photograph shows you the clouds starting to thin out here. So mostly cloudy skies expected very, very soon here in the central part of the state. And that is high pressure. That high will sink farther down to the south. The closer it gets, the lighter our wind will be. So again, with that high coming down the pike, we should be talking about uh, wind a little bit uh, lighter later on tonight. How much rainfall have we seen over the last 24 hours? Almost eight tenths here in Waco. Again, that's just in the last 24 hours. And there's been a big swath, and we showed you that last night, at least a one to three inch swath of some rain uh, over the last uh, several days here. And that's why we had so much uh, kind of soggy ground here in that uh, ponding on the roadways. You'll notice, though, about an inch and a third up toward Mejia, over two inches in the Palestine area. A Seven tenths down toward Temple and a third down toward the Colleen area. So, kind of hit and miss on the rain. Uh, the heavier amounts staying right across the central part. You know, it's a little bit lighter down toward the Burnett area. Temperatures today still below average. Again, readings were only in the 50s. Our average high is about 62 degrees. We had 51 degrees right now here in Waco. It's 51 in Mejia as well as Temple. Caldwell checks in with 50 degrees. And there are the winds. I know it looks strong right now, but I'll tell you, it was much stronger this afternoon. Uh, our wind here in Waco out of the north, roughly at 28 miles per hour. Colleen, 25, and Lampasas, a north wind at 23 miles per hour. So the forecast, as we hit the evening hours, clear skies, temperatures beginning to fall, back down into the upper 30s and lower 40s, winds under 15 miles per hour. So that is some good news. Again, that is at midnight. And then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, we are got that high not too far away. So as we start the day tomorrow, we're looking at a light freeze, about 30, 32 degrees under clear skies, winds not too bad. And then as we go throughout the day on Friday, that high kind of slides a little farther off to the east. We're on the back side, still a cool day with temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s, but a lot of sunshine tomorrow. So that Hopefully, we'll pick up your spirits, right? The sun. And then a few more clouds drift in here late Friday into early Saturday. These are some high cirrus clouds. They do not produce any rainfall, so no rain in the forecast. And as we go throughout the day on Saturday, partly to mostly sunny skies, and it'll be a little bit warmer with highs in the mid to upper 50s. Tonight, though, it's going to be cold with mostly clear skies. We drop to around 30 degrees. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, about 52 degrees, the high temperature. And then as we look ahead, here's Ray's Automotive seven day forecast 58 degrees on Saturday, mostly sunny skies. A few more clouds on Sunday. We're going to watch a little disturbance, a 20% chance of rain. Wouldn't cancel any plans right now. 64 degrees. Monday, a few more clouds too. 65 and 67 on Tuesday. The front actually moves across overnight Tuesday, and it's a dry front. So no rain in the forecast, but notice the cooler temperatures there on Wednesday and Thursday and over toward Bryan and College Station. Again, pretty quiet weather for tomorrow and Saturday. Sunday, a 40% chance of some rain. So not everybody sees it. 67 and temperatures very close to 70 on Monday and Tuesday and a little bit cooler on Wednesday and Thursday. But, you know, this is very typical of February where right. temperatures are all over the board. March is the same way, too. So just, just, just hang on. That's all you can do.